Hello, Gemini. This is your mid-October 2018 reading, at least starting mid-October. It will not resonate with all Gemini, so keep that in mind. I want to see if these energies continue from the last reading, or we may get a totally different energy. But this is for Gemini, mid-October 2018. Gemini starting mid-October 2018, general reading for the masses. See what incoming energies are going to be. Hopefully it's a positive one. Starting out, coming towards you. Prince of Wands. This is a fire type energy. You could be taking on this energy or you could be actually dealing with a fire sign type person. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They are in the upright as coming in. In the past, dealing with intuition, secrets, things hidden from you, things that you do not fully know well. You're still contemplating, wondering. Some of you may be dealing with spirituality. Not all of you, though. Some of this has to do with intuition. You may be developing your intuition in the past. Could be that your intuition was spot on in the past. Now, I need to find out more. So I'm going to clarify the high priestess, why are you there in the past for Gemini? It's a good card, it's in the upright. Could have to do with a lover, not necessarily a partnership of some sort. Maybe you, you could say, I got a good feeling about this person or this situation in the past. Can I get another card? Knight of Dis, a slow coming in the past, possibly. Uh, maybe you aren't able to deliver a message yet to this person in your life, or they're, they are unable to deliver a message to you. You also could be dealing with an earth element, someone taking on that energy. It is in reverse. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But I'm thinking it's an energy where somebody is not quite able to get their say in, but they know it feels right, but the timing may be off. Obstacle. Knight of Cups in reverse. Now this could be a water type element, someone taking on an energy, or actual water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in reverse. They are your obstacle, Gemini. Why is that there? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? This person is causing you some depression, and mental anxiety, or this person themselves could be suffering from that. I don't know who they are to you. You can put it in the comments if you want. But I need another card. Knight of Cups with the Nine of Swords. Clarifying it. Why are you there? For Gemini. Feel like you're not having a victory with this person or they feel like they don't have a victory with you. Something's going on with this Knight of Cups. It calls you some sleepless, sleepless nights sometimes, or not really sleepless nights, just anxiety. You felt they had some cruel words, cruel mental anxiety. Oops, something's trying to pop out there. So it may be blocked, feeling unbalanced. I'm not going to keep them out. That's the Two of Swords and more or less the Temperance card, Art card. Could be someone was blocked or putting up their blinders, feeling a little unbalanced. What is... Uh, Near future is either the current event or the near future. We're not in mid-October yet. We will be, so I'm going to say the near future is happiness. The sun card. Great card. The sun card, why are you there for Gemini in the near future or the current environment? You broke off a tide with somebody. You were You're tied or bound to something in the past. You may cut it off so you can have happiness. This could be a contract you're breaking. 
something that didn't work out, that you felt that you dodged a bullet possibly, because you are happy about it. Can I get another card for Gemini? And the Hierophant in reverse. You may actually break a contract with somebody. You may tell them you want out because you want to be happy. Or they may tell you they want out so they can be happy. But I see you getting out of a, a contract you didn't like, whether it be with a person, situation, it doesn't matter. You may feel, some of you, and I'm picking this up, that you were afraid you had to go with something and you found out with a message that it was canceled and you were like relieved. But some of you, it is a, big, a, a broken contract, or a lot of you, it's a broken contract. Like I said, it could be marriage, job, it doesn't matter. What is coming towards you is the Prince of Disc. It's in the upright, also known as a page sometimes. Could be a message coming towards you that's of earth element. Someone taking on an earth energy. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they are in the upright. It is headed towards you. It's a slow process, but a very stable one. Prince of Disc, why are you there? Coming towards Gemini as the outside environment. It has to do with money, finances, accomplishment, wealth. Ten of Coin and the Prince of Disc coming towards Gemini. Gemini got all the money coming. Oh, yeah, you're going to be celebrating. Something gets canceled out. You get rid of something. But something because maybe something better is coming in. Yeah, totally. The outcome, ooh, passionate, new beginning, ace of wands. Oh, why can't these be my cards? Gemini, you got the ace of wands as the outside, or not the outside energy, the final, final outcome. And it is a great card. This is new beginnings, passionate new beginnings with feel-good type situation. Really feeling good. The only better one I, you can get is, is, well, actually all the aces are good. But this is a passionate new beginning offer, whatever you want to call it. Ace of wands, why are you there? Because you didn't like what was offered in the past, and you're going to go with this passionate new beginning. Because you've got the three of wands in reverse. That's the why, the, the how come. And the three of wands is in reverse. Because you didn't like what was offered in the past. Huh, I'm going to try to sum this up. This is pretty good stuff. Ace of wands, three of wands in, in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? Finances held back. You were holding back, waiting for something better to come in. And you did. Princess of Wands, again, a fire type energy. Someone taking on that energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of fire here. Some coin. So let's try to sum this up. Oh, gosh. Someone from the past. Six of Cups. I think you may be reunited. Some of you will be reuniting. Someone from the past. And it is, it is Venus in retrograde. So if you hear a lot of other readers saying this, it's probably true because astrology is right for this right now also. So people are going to be feeling a lot of the past energy, someone from the past. But in the very, very past, your intuition, you were relying on that. It was good. Sometimes things were hidden, but... You were trying to trust your intuition over a love situation, even though it was going slow and maybe even halted in the past. Your obstacle is dealing with the Knight of Cups. This could be someone emotional energy or someone actually a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. You know, whether they're feeling this way or you're feeling this way, it, you know, it's different for everyone. But this person is feeling like they didn't get a victory and they're having anguish and they feel like they're going through a mental cruelty of anxiety. I do not know who this person is to you, or maybe this is you, but it's an obstacle that you have to deal with the mental anxiety. And in the very near future, you're going to be happy because something is not going to work out. It's going to be cut out of your life, and you're going to hear about it, and it's going to make you happy. Now, for some of you, it may be that, and I'm feeling less for 
few of you, I'm going to give different scenarios here for some of you. You're going to hear that someone split up that you knew about, possibly from the past, and it made you happy. It also could be that you're glad something didn't work out that you heard about. It could be a contract that didn't work out and it made you relieved, like, oh, I can't believe I just dodged that bullet. Didn't work out. But it's coming towards you. It's kind of slow, but it's stable and it's sound. And these are good cards because they last a long time. Even though they're slow coming, they last. Prince of Disc could be a page, a message, or a person offering you financial stability that you will celebrate with, with the Three of Cups. As the end result, there's a passionate new offer. You're not accepting things that no longer served you with the Three of Wands in reverse because you were always holding back for something more. And it could have a lot to do with the Princess of Wands, whoever that is. Could be a message, a passionate message coming in too with the Princess of Wands. It's considered to me like a page. And this person has a lot of fire type energy or this message is a lot of fire type energy. And you got something good coming along also, Gemini. And it also could have something, like I said, to do with the past. The Six of Cups, it's in the upright. It's nostalgia. It's thinking of positive things in the past. Could have a restart with somebody. Or you could just be restarting in general. And that is your reading. Gemini, it's a great reading. We all should have these. And I'll talk to you later. I'll be back before November to give the November readings. And hopefully things will continue. Remember, this is a slow card, but it is stable. Wait for it. Talk to you later. Bye.